Welcome back guys. This is the last adventure on the 1190R for 2016. Today I'm testing the long travel Touratec suspension which adds another 30 mil of ground clearance to the bike and it's going to allow me to go into some pretty extreme off-road terrain with my old mate Brad Williscroft on the 500 EXC. extra 30 mil ground clearance just it allows you to look a bit more forward and not focus on all the stumps and rocks like you normally would on a big bike like this yeah I still got caught out today I'm can, you, can you come back and help me <laughs> I'm trapped yeah, I'm actually trapped. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, look, I just hooked the foot peg on there. All good. It'll always be an adventure bike. It's never going to act like a 500 EXC. But with that extra 30 mil ground clearance, I've really surprised myself and the, the bike has surprised me as to what we've done today. I'm coming. Steady on. I'm coming. any old trail ride we've kind of tested it a bit today what do you think Brad well pretty much if you want to take that bike where you can take one of these the extra 30 mil travel it really just helps it get over you know the logs and rocks and yeah it's a bit of a beast that bike and <laughs> it's so heavy and like for some of the things we went on today and some of the downhills we went on People couldn't even ride this bike down there. No, yeah. that's steep. But that thing just went down there. No dramas, and yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah, I just had to pick my way through that. But oh, I went a bit more left than what you did. Um, yeah, let me go first. imagine too many people are going to want to take their 1190 through some of the crap that we just did but if you are that way inclined I'd recommend the Touratec uh, long travel suspension without a doubt and also it's something that you definitely need a suspension specialist to set up and install for you there's a bit involved uh, putting the new cartridge fork kit into the front end um, the shock's quite an easy just bolt in, but the complete balance and setup, I'd really recommend that you do all of it through a, a suspension specialist or a KDM dealer. It's not a necessary upgrade by any means. In fact, the bike is a lot firmer now. Um, that, that touring comfort level 
has definitely changed. It's more top heavy and it's a firmer ride. But the fun factor has increased tenfold because as you'll see, you can jump it, climb hills, climb step ups. up my last 1190R adventure for 2016. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for a bigger and better 2017 on the, uh, the new KDM adventure range. You're going to love these bikes. And I just got the hell away from it. <laughs> Look at the big girl. Yeah, yeah. The wildebeest is down. Ready? Whoa.